we, we look to you to start. <laughs> you go first. Oh, I'm like man. Senator Foghorn. Let's look at the guy with the biggest mouth. <laughs> um, are you rolling? My first encounter with the turtles was a call from my agent. I mean, it was really nothing, no big deal. I mean, it was great to get a show. My agent called me and said, you have a, an audition for a show called Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I said, what? Stu, the director, came in. And he says, you guys are not going to believe this. I'm going to be directing this new show. And uh, I want to bring you guys in on it. Um, but look at this. And he opens his bag and he pulls out a copy of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, one of the original comics. Teenage Mutant <laughs> Ninja, Ninja Turtles? Turtles? Yeah. It was just the mix. It was the chemistry. Everyone had to have chemistry, but particularly the four of us had to really feel like roommates. Yeah, we don't get many humans down here. Tonight I dine on turtle soup. <laughs> I remember the first session when I came in, and from the very first session that I met all these people, and it was just, it was a, it was a party. It was a joy. It was a joy. Originally, when we first started doing it, they didn't know whether Townie or I, uh, who was going to be Leonardo and who was going to be uh, Michelangelo. And we were supposed to then uh, switch back, and, and they never did. They sort of wanted kind of, you know, the surfer dude, kind of alley guy stuff. And the only thing that I could uh, think about at the time was sort of a Sean Penn uh, in Fast Times at Ridgemont High. And so I kind of, you know, drew upon that and did a, a bit of my version of that. Let's show them the turtles know how to party! We've got to practice! You know, that was... Pretty much, I, was, I felt like I was the professor in Gilligan's Island. Well, no matter how it happened, it's up to us to do something. Let's go. Uh, and he said, just kind of be yourself with Donatello. So I was. I mean, I just, you know, this is my voice. And I just kind of pitched it up here. Welcome aboard the Turtle Blimp. It's almost, it's almost Shakespearean. It's almost over the top and Shakespearean in that sense. The same way I would do this, I would go, mislike me not for my complexion the shadow of the burnished sun to whom I am a neighbor and nearborn. <laughs> Killers! <laughs> That's quite a brain you've got, Cray. Of course it is. It's all I've got. Underneath, secretly, I was playing a Jewish mother with Krang. This is what I get. I shouldn't expect anything else. You know, they never knew, but it was funny. I, in turn, named them after my favorite Renaissance painters. They wanted him to sound like uh, a very learned uh, man and uh, the sensei, you know, the teacher. It's news! Oh, Come back with my hiding place! And when I had to do Vernon, I wanted to get as far away from that as possible, so I got into a little bit of a higher, <laughs> higher register. Oh, April! Come on, let me do something. Let me get some credit. You know, I came in one day and they said, you're doing Bebop. I'm real good at video games. I had to make it really low. They did rock steady, and I just made him like a big dumb kid. The third floor, lingerie. And that is how they became the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. I'm Shredder. <laughs> this is April O'Neil, Channel 6 News. You should have seen some of the outtakes. These people are insane. This man is crazy. The universe. They're all crazy. Him, all of them together. It was a pleasure being Splinter. I've always been Donatello. Even before I turned green. Wait till the world gets an eyeful of this. Turtle power.